welcome to the number 13 yes unlucky for some let's talk Burnley Football Club and you can imagine why it's called number 13 because it was very unlucky for Burnley at home to Chelsea losing 4-0 with three goals in eight minutes in the second half now, nil-nil, half-time, we put in a brilliant performance, I thought, against a very good Chelsea side, but whatever happened in the second half, it was terrible, to say the least. But uh, I've got the, the names of the scorers for Chelsea, James, 47th minute, Havertz, 52nd and the 55th minute, and Pulsic, uh, 69th minute. I've read the reports on the match. Um, Burnley did play very well in the first half and they were a bit unlucky. Some of the goals uh, were unlucky but still the largest defeat this season at home uh, or, or in any match this season uh, we've been beaten 4-0 and we've got uh, we would have had Southampton next, but that's been postponed because they they won in the FA Cup, the uh, fourth round. So that's been postponed. So I believe the next match is against Brentford at Brentford. And Brentford lost today. Sorry, won today. Sorry. Brentford won 3-1 against Norwich at Norwich. So, we remain in 18th position, but uh, the games in hand are getting less and less. We've probably got two games over Brentford. Uh, that is uh, at the least we've got. Um, Leeds and Everton are still down, um, are catchable if we do win against Brentford and have a good result against whenever we play Southampton. Right, um, going into the um, statistics, Chelsea, um, shots on goal, 11, um, five on target, four they scored. Um, Burnley had six shots on, uh, on goal and one on target. Uh, Chelsea possession was 73%. And Burnley's possession was only 27%. So basically, um, not, a, not a good effort today. And uh, that's why the uh, number 13 is very relevant with this video. Um, as you can see, not happy. Not very happy at all. I'm sure the, the lads aren't happy. And now there's Sean Dash. Uh, who knows? I'm not saying it's going to be, but who knows? Whereas this new, um, the new owners of Burnley Football Club might even be thinking about sacking Sean Dyche. I can't see it personally because I don't think there's anybody else that can replace him at the moment. I think we've just been very unlucky. The the first half we could have scored. Um, possibly two goals up we could have been and maybe it would have been a different game but really the testing time comes from now on with lesser teams to play um, the likes of Southampton, Brentford, Norwich, um, Aston, well, Aston Villa yes they're down the bottom as well but we've got the big game against Newcastle the last game of the season which is away and they won today 2-1. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'm still going to say up the Clarets, uh, not with the fist, not with the fist, no. I'm just going to say it, up the Clarets and let's keep the faith, let's see the next match and let's hope that at some point we'll be back on track again. If we can beat Tottenham Hotspur, we can beat anybody. So, except for Chelsea. I, and... <laughs> other teams but the best the best is yet to come let's put it this way we have to win these last games uh, i think we might have to win at least four games 
out of the remaining 10. I believe there is 10 games to go, maybe more that Burnley got in hand. But um, yeah, the majority of the clubs have got about 10 games left. Okay, all the very best and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.